So for this week's Trades of the Week, we can try something a little bit different. Uh, we can look at some S4 trades, which is a strategy we launched back in November for Trend Signal Plus clients. Uh, this um, is very much an arrows-based uh, formula from the point of use, really. So seeing here a, a buying opportunity on the close of this bar at 10 p.m. on Wednesday of last week. Um, and, uh, you know, nice enough move there, uh, picking up around about uh, 57 points on the gold market. Is it rallied nicely over the next uh, day or so, typically in trades for around about a day, about 26 trades a month uh, based on the list of markets that we trade off. So nice opportunity uh, from there. But also uh, a number of other uh, opportunities for last week as well. Let's go through each of those uh, really in turn. Uh, Euro yen uh, next couple of opportunities. Uh, we teach where to put stops. We teach where to put targets, of course, and the entry is very, very straightforward. We had a short entry there on the 16th uh, last Thursday, getting stopped out on this one as the market rallied straight off against us there for about a uh, 28 pip loss before another opportunity to short, which then went on through and hit our target on that one. So pretty much flat overall on that euro yen uh, opportunity there. So making back whatever we lost uh, really on that original short trade from last week there. Uh, sterling yen giving us a short riding that little bounce off uh, before the market then going on through hitting our objective on this one around about a 57, 56, 57 point winner uh, on sterling yen there as well. Euro New Zealand lovely buy on Euro New Zealand from here uh, that was a 38 point uh, winner uh, from there. Uh, a nice move actually on Euro New Zealand as we bought the market on 6 p.m. Uh, on the 16th of uh, February, picking up the buy on the close here. Even though on this negative candlestick, it still met the criteria that we we're looking for. Market then rallying really nicely on that first bar, uh, making our objective on that one too. And then looking through finally, Sterling New Zealand. On the short side there uh, from Wednesday late morning, 10 a.m. Wednesday, 172.88, uh, moving on very nicely through to our objective as well. Uh, so some decent moves uh, in amongst uh, that lot, really. A few yen pairs, uh, sorry, a few euro pairs, a few sterling pairs, plus gold as well. Really looking at six trades from last week there. Overall up about 210 points or so for the week. And given that we had five winners, one loss, that's uh, up four net trades typically risking 2% on each trade on these on S4 uh, because they're reliability um, and so on. So overall, up about 8% on our account for last week there uh, across those S4 trades. So nice moves there, 210 points, 8%, whatever it is that you're looking off, and that's after costs as well. Uh, pretty decent uh, week for us. Um, if you'd like to know more about these trades and other trades that we look to do here at TrendSignal, then why don't you tune in to one of our online training webinars. We usually host a couple of them a week. Uh, uh, Tuesday nights and Thursday lunchtimes for live events. You should find somewhere on this webpage the ability to book uh, and register your own free place to attend one of them where we'll teach you about one of the strategies that we use or a couple of the strategies we use really, stops, targets, and how we manage those trades as well. So if you want to get more into uh, simple to use strategies, then why don't you make sure you attend and hopefully we we'll look forward to seeing you online. But otherwise, have a good week everybody and uh, hope for more of the same uh, in next week's update. If you would like more information about trading the right way, TrendSignal is giving you the opportunity to see and hear about its services live at a free online seminar. Take a look at the TrendSignal website for the latest events and to book your free place.